We always need to find new ways to have clean energy on the grid, uh, something that's not as traditional as, as we've been experimenting with or been doing. So the floating solar is nice. We'll be able to use different bodies of water that aren't really used for recreational purposes. So this is one of our anchor points. So the islands are anchored on all four sides. So all, all four sides around the perimeter of the island have these anchors. These are plate anchors. They're driven into the bank here with a jackhammer. And actually this anchor goes down about 20 feet into the ground. And as you can see, there's a shackle and two mooring lines attached to this single anchor point. And those mooring lines go out to two points on the island. You're looking at a wastewater treatment pond. And behind me, you'll see a 1.8 megawatt floating solar system that Sierra Terra built about three or four years ago. One of the first ones here in California, one of the first over a megawatt here in California. And it's been operating without problem uh, for four years now. Here in the U.S., where we have more land, what we're seeing is where we have population density islands. In California, in the Northeast, and Florida, those are the hot markets here in the U.S., where again, they don't have land or land is very expensive. Well, we're seeing developers getting more and more comfortable with it. You know, they've built the smaller projects, they've gone through bankability studies, uh, technical studies, and they're confident that it is one of the you know tools in their their quiver, so to speak. Uh, that we see that uh, the projects are becoming not only more common. We have, we're up to. 28 projects totaling 33 megawatts in the U.S. so far, but the projects are getting bigger and bigger. 